Welcome to the Lock In Podcast. This is episode 31 for Wednesday, 18th of November 2020. My name's Conan Winnichon. I work for Black Knight. We're the Irish web hosting company based in Carlo. We're guaranteed Irish. And that leads me on to my topic for today because uh, my guest today is Evelyn Moynihan from the Kilkenny Group, which is also, of course, an Irish company and one that's reaching out to support the other people in the Irish retail community through its involvement with an organisation called Champion. Green. Evelyn, welcome to the show. Hi, Con. How are you? I'm great, and thanks for joining us today. Uh, very quickly, Evelyn, can you tell us what is Champion Green? So, Champion Green Con is a movement uh, which is all about encouraging people to support local. Kilkenny Design, along with Visa and the trade bodies, Small Firms Association, Chambers Ireland, and um, Retail Excellence came together and set this up uh, back in June in the middle of lockdown. And the whole ethos of the movement is all about encouraging people to support local, um, which is so critical um, this year and every year, I suppose, to keep local businesses um, surviving and thriving. Now, the reason we're talking to you today, Evelyn, is uh, because of a campaign that Champion Green has launched with the aim of turning Black Friday green. And I suppose the first question I have for you in relation to that, when people think of shopping online, they think of Amazon, they think of eBay, they think of uh, buying things from China and from around the world. But you can still shop online, Evelyn, and support Irish companies, can't you? Yeah, very much so. And I think, I suppose, lockdown for the month of November has really put a a keen lens on this and particularly on the run up to, I suppose, that big e-commerce event that you referenced that's traditionally known as uh, Black Friday. So uh, for us, I suppose, to answer your question, yes, you can definitely um, shop Irish and shop online. Uh, I suppose that's a a critical message for the month of November for all small and medium sized businesses that are out there. Green Friday is all about changing people's behaviour on the run up to the big event and across the month of November. Like it's been, I suppose, written a lot in the media that about 70% of e-commerce business leaves the shores of Ireland and goes elsewhere. And I suppose Green Friday is all about changing that behaviour and it must change, you know, for the future of small and medium sized businesses. I'd also say that a lot of Irish businesses have invested hugely in building their e-commerce Um, business no doubt Black Knight know all about that over the last while and even ourselves in Kilkenny Design we were investing in e-commerce anyway but I think Covid and the impact it's had on on retail and bricks and mortar has really put a um, a significant lens on the need to really grow e-commerce for the future of all businesses and this is a long-term change as well it's not just something for getting us through Covid and beyond and we came out with a stat recently, Con, where if every Irish adult spent an additional 50 euro um, on an e-commerce site um, that is sourced locally or Irish, it would mean an additional 180 million boost to the economy. So that's the change that we're, we're looking to bring about. Um, so we're calling on our, all Irish adults to spend that extra 50 euro in the month of November. And in fairness, there is... That change that I talked about, you can very much see it. Um, It's alive and well. So Visa, our supporters of Champion Green, came out with a stat recently that 40% of Visa cardholders who didn't shop online are now starting to shop online. And also um, Google recently shared a stat that um, Shop Local Ireland, those words were searched um, plus 540% more in the last couple of weeks than they've ever been before. So I do think that change is happening. Um, We are seeing it through. Um, And I do think there's huge emphasis on businesses like ourselves and other Irish businesses to invest in their site if they have one already, look to improve the customer experience, strengthen the user journeys, photography, how you position your products, et cetera. But also for lots of companies who never had e-commerce, it's really critical that they start to invest now um, I've heard it described that it's been like a decade of change um, in six months when it yeah. comes to e-commerce. And I think that's very much alive and well. Um, the other thing I'd share with you today is um, for people looking to shop Irish and shop local, there's some fabulous directories circulating at the moment. And Champion Green has brought out a master of directories where we've literally captured all the directories that have been pulled together by different different business sources 
and very much the directories that have been pulled together locally by county as well. And I think they're a great, a great place to start if you're thinking about how do you shop more local and Irish um, on the run up to Christmas and in particular for the month of November. So have a look, seek out what you're looking to purchase and I guarantee you'll get great quality uh, product and there's fabulous creativity out there. We know it working with Kilkenny Design. We work with over 250 brilliant Irish designers um, and makers. The talent is there, the value is there. And what I'd encourage people to do is go out and seek it. And there's also the goodwill from consumers as well, Evelyn, isn't there? Uh, I mean, I think uh, the Google searches certainly reflect that. And also, uh, we had seen research as well uh, to say that uh, surveys of consumers were saying they were looking for Irish businesses online. Um, A very interesting point that I thought you guys made in the press release you put out last week, which is that uh, the COVID crisis has uh, heightened a sense of community uh, in local communities and in in national communities in Ireland and places around the world and people have developed a really strong sense that we're all in this together as it were Um, and you know if your local business uh, goes to the wall that's uh, an employer gone that's part of the community damaged and and destroyed so I think people are very much interested in in supporting their local local businesses. What is Champion Green uh, doing Evelyn to help uh, on the business side to help companies actually rise to that uh, demand and uh, try and offer their products and services online? So look, Champion Green um, has significant investment behind it, um, over a million euros in marketing spend across 2020. And one of its key objectives is to help educate people, Con, on the importance of supporting local. Like what you described, there is a swell of support out there. I think what's critical now is we need to convert that, what people are saying into what people are doing. Um, and see that coming through now uh, with the local businesses. But over 65% of jobs come from the SME sector. And I don't think people actually realise, you know, the importance of SMEs in the future of our communities. I suppose when people think of their first job, you know, or their, yeah, their first rung on the ladder, it's local businesses are the majority um, of the places, I suppose, where those jobs are provided. And I think we all want those thriving communities if you like for the future um so actually supporting local is a key place to start i mentioned that um we're delighted to be working with visa and the trade bodies uh, behind champion green and um, so obviously they have a huge network of retailers within um their presence the small firms association retail excellence and chambers ireland so it's fabulous to have that i suppose network of communication to get the message out there as well on the supports that Champion Green is delivering. Um, For businesses, we're asking them very simply, Con, to log on to championgreen.ie to pledge their support and to input the detail of their business, what products they sell, what county they're from, what's their website actually most importantly for the month of November. And from there, we're spotlighting businesses um, through our marketing spend. So throughout all our channels, Um, both national media and local media and our own channels on social we're spotlighting businesses all the time on what they do what they offer and encouraging people to engage with them get to know them um, and start to do business with them also through championgreen.ie when you sign up you get an app you get access to a toolkit and in the toolkit are some lovely I suppose assets for social media that really help businesses drive a message around support local, how businesses are open, the channels that they're driving um, and helping businesses get key messages out like that. Um, And also point to sale that they can print off and put in the window of their businesses as well to drive that support local message. And we're also hosting regular webinars for businesses. So even in the last two weeks, we did an excellent webinar on supporting people to maximize their e-commerce and social media and their digital assets right now um, on the run-up to Christmas. So real practical support um, that we're giving retailers at this time. Now, obviously, a lot of um, business advisors and people like that will say that the best approach is your blended approach or your hybrid approach, uh, bricks and clicks, as some people call it, and that as well. And it's certainly something that we've been uh, preaching in Black Knight. We've been doing webinars as well over the last six months and that as well. But hoping, we're all hoping right now, Evelyn, that uh, the uh, uh, there will be some kind of a lift uh, before Christmas. There will be some kind of an easing of restrictions that if we play our 
part now it'll pay off uh, and people will be able to walk into into shops and uh, and and do business and, and get products and services in that way as well but right now in the month of november i suppose the point really is evelyn um it is online is the only way for some businesses right now and it is really kind of is is sort of um, coincidental that November has had this traditional focus built up over the last ten or fifteen years on online commerce. This whole idea of Black Friday and shopping online and stuff like that. So let's let's focus on on Black Friday or Green Friday, as uh, Champion Green would like us to call it. Um, what is the goal, uh, Evelyn? You mentioned uh, if everyone in, if every body um, spent fifty euros with Irish uh, companies and. Re- retailers uh, in the month of November that would uh, make a contribution of 180 million was it you said to the economy 180 million yeah 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 look it's a, look the main thing for us is that we're encouraging all Irish adults to get out there and seek Irish and local sites and products and offers and ranges for the month of November and shop local this year and um, we're encouraging people to look to support local um also, by changing the language, we actually do uh, want everyone to describe it as a um, a green um, or a, fri- a green Friday mm-hmm. event. Um, and again, I just think that straight away brings into focus the need to support local and Irish um, during this time. Um, I feel a lot of businesses as well are rightly so spreading their offers or their uh, ranges or products across the month of November. So don't just wait till. The last minute, um, I know a lot of businesses are out there for the whole month of November and they have great quality product. They have great offers um, being offered through their social media and through their websites. And now is the time to start seeking those out. Um, I know ourselves with Kilkenny Design are starting to drive out value from now because, again, we don't think it's all about one day. It's about a you know, offers and value and great quality and fabulous design uh, for the whole month as well. Um, Green Friday as well are doing a particular feature with News Talk where we're looking for businesses out there to come forward with their Green Friday offers or their Green Friday ranges that they want to really focus in on. And we're going to do big focus on getting that message out there as well uh, through that feature. So that's another call out if any businesses have great offers that they want to push out for the month of November. We want to hear about them through Champion Green and through Green Friday. Um, and look for for customers that are out there like local businesses, you can you can give your support by liking their pages, you know, liking their social handles, sharing recommendations. I think people buy from people. And that's been, you know, really positive on two fronts. A it obviously helps drive and promote a product, but the lift that it gives small businesses when they see the passion and pride that their customers are sharing and talking about their product. You know, you can't put a value on this. And a lot of what we're about, Con, is about positivity as well. And positivity breeds positivity. So it's brilliant if you can get your recommendations out there, if you've had a good experience, you know, get it out there. I do think shopping with local and Irish sites has added benefits as well. So when it comes to returns or when it comes to ongoing services, um, I think that's an important kind of end to end, I think, consideration as well um, when consumers are thinking about how to turn uh, Black Friday green. Um, And like for us, it's just about changing the behaviour now. I do feel e-commerce's growth is here to stay and it will continue. I think you're right. It's going to be about the hybrid approach of for businesses thinking about how all your channels can be maximised. So it's actually up to the customer, actually, what way they want to shop and then you're ready for it. Um, but I think the growth of e-commerce is here to stay. So for businesses, we need to keep investing, keep delivering great experiences, improving our customer delivery, our returns, all of that good stuff. And for customers, I, I'm clearly calling out, go out, seek out your local and Irish uh, products and ranges that are out there um, and buy this Christmas and it'll feel great. It'll feel great for you as a purchaser and it'll feel great, I think, to receive gifts like that as well. I think everybody's going to think like that over the next um, four to six weeks. Absolutely. Uh, are there hashtags and social media accounts and things like that, Evelyn? What should people look out for online if they're looking for, for the Champion Green and the Green Friday deals? You're nothing without your hashtags, Con. And <laughs> um, so definitely, so hashtag uh, Champion Green, hashtag Green Friday, hashtag, su- hashtag support local. 
and hashtag click local are all hashtags that we're incorporating. And actually Champion Green uh, delivered over 21,000 um, tags um, just last week. So again, that that support, that movement mm. is is so vibrant. When we when we started first, I think it was mentioned a hundred times in total ever. So to see it up over twenty one thousand now, like that's the kind of swell of support that I was referencing earlier. That's fantastic, Evelyn. Well done to you and to Kilkenny Design and Visa and the other partners, uh, the trade organisations, everyone else involved uh, supporting Champion Green. Black Knight is delighted uh, to be supporting and encouraging it as well, and we'll do everything we can to get the word out. Uh, thank you and uh, happy Black Friday, happy Green Friday, I should say. And uh, I hope uh, you and yours uh, have uh, a good holiday season. Thank you. Thanks, Con. Happy Green Friday. Thank you. <laughs> That'll get, that could catch on, I think. That's it. Uh, Evelyn Moynihan from uh, Kilkenny Design is our, our guest uh, today on the show. And you can find out more at uh, championgreen.ie. Look out for the hashtags as well uh, that she uh, indicated there as well. This podcast is the Lock In podcast. You can find us at the lockin.ie and also look out for our sister podcast, uh, which goes out once a month. That's the Black Knight podcast. Uh, our latest episode is all about how the dot gay uh, top level design, uh, top level domain has created a hate free zone online. Until next week, Slonga Foil.